everyone, and welcome back as always. Hi. We're back again. We're probably going to be watching more Fantastic Beasts 2, and this is The Crimes of Grindelwald, the final trailer. So we've been wanting to see this, and we just haven't had time to get together until tonight, so thank you for your patience. We love the Harry Potter universe. We know that Dumbledore is in this movie. Mm-hmm. A younger mm-hmm. version of him. Yes. So I hope he plays a good part in it, like a big part. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, and Johnny Depp is always amazing. I love him. And we love him. And you know him more now from Pirates of the Caribbean because <laughs> right. we saw the first few movies. Yes. <laughs> and we're continuing on with that series as well. Right. <laughs> Savvy? Savvy. I know they love that saying. Like, you have to say Savvy. But we absolutely love the Harry Potter universe, and we just love the magic in it, the characters. I really love Jacob. He is my favorite. I know you guys like Queenie. Queenie. Queenie's good. They're all a lot of fun, but I really just love Jacob. Just the humor and everything in him. He's so lovable. He is. (laughs) And I'm sure Dumbledore will be another favorite character of mine once he's on here, (laughs) once I see him. (laughs) So I think we should get into it and see what it's about. Okay. Address. What's that? A safe house in Paris. Why would I need a safe house in Paris? Should things at some point go terribly wrong, it's good to have a place to go. You know, for a cup of tea. My brothers, my sisters. The clock is ticking fast. My dream. We who live for truth, for love. The moment has come to Ooh, take so our weird. rightful place in the world where we wizards. Oh, you have the one too. Join me. Or die. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Visiting the non-wizarding yeah. worlds have been at peace for over a century. I love seeing Hogwarts. Grindelwald wants to see that peace destroyed. You want me to hunt him down? To kill him? Dumbledore, why can't you go? I cannot move against Grindelwald. It has to be you. You don't suffer from motion sickness, do you? I don't do well on boats. <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, Poor Jacob. Do you know why I admire you, Nick? You do not seek power. You simply ask, is the thing oh. right? The time's coming when you're going to have to pick a side. No, I don't do sides. What are you going to do? I think it's nothing. Mute, you never met a monster you couldn't love. Let's take him. Love all the creatures. It's just so oh my God, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. That's your brother. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think that might have been the best moment of my life. <laughs> oh. My oh, how cool word. is that? Yeah. Action packed. Yeah. yeah really so really exciting. Yeah. We did see Fantastic Beast, the first one, as you know. Sometimes it's on YouTube, sometimes it's taken down, all depending on what Warner Brothers wants to do with that. But it, you can always check that out on our Patreon as well. But we absolutely enjoyed that first movie. We actually had Kira nice. involved, too. We had an yeah. extra a special guest with us, so that was pretty cool. So a really big thing that happened last time that I know we all missed was Nicholas Fulmiel. I know he's a major character, and as much as we love the Harry Potter universe, we haven't read the books. I did read the first one and the fourth one partially, but he is a huge lore in Harry Potter. And he also made the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. Oh, so oh, that's yeah. kind of a big deal, guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> they did mention yeah. him in the first movie. They might have mentioned him a few times other than that as well in Harry Potter. But I honestly didn't catch it the first time around. But you all have been wonderful and you let us know. They were a little bit disappointed that we didn't know. But so many fans were so <laughs> yeah. shocked during the first trailer to actually see him in it. And they were waiting for it. But we don't do any research or anything. We just watch it. So anyways, okay. it was cool to see him. And I did hear rumors about that snake. The snake that could turn human, turn into a snake, kind of interesting. I thought she was from Slytherin House. Yeah, 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 yeah. well that would make sense too, right? I don't know if you remember the name Nagiri, if that sounds familiar at all. 
<laughs> but that was the name of Voldemort's snake. Voldemort's oh. snake is named Gary. Oh, yeah. Mm. So she's snake. yeah, and I don't know what the relationship is there, but he was very fond of the snake in the movies, and I know oh. she was also a Horcrux for him, part of his soul. Mm. So I'm That's curious if Coming we'll yeah, yeah find out more yeah. about that because it's really cool to see the prequels and see how certain things came about. And Grindelwald seems like a really intimidating sorceress too. Like he seems he like does. a really scary wizard. He, does, yeah. he really, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He looks like he's always mean. Yeah, <laughs> he's always got mean it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I know it's revealing a lot, and I know a lot of you guys, like a lot of the major Harry Potter fans, are really excited to see this. I'm very happy to see it as well, and I know we're probably not going to watch it until after it comes out, so we can do a reaction to it. I might see it in theaters, but we'll do a blind reaction with you guys when it comes out, because they like watching movies at home anyways, which is always a good thing, um, and more comfortable. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, very excited. has to leave. Yeah, Yeah. I was going to say, in case one has to leave. Uh, Aww, we get all excited and passionate about movies, we can't help it. It's (laughs) always fun that way, right? So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon as always. Thank Bye. you. Bye.